r slash ask reddit what makes you immediately lose romantic interest in someone they're obsessed with their ex yes and people tend to have a painful lack of self-awareness about this they immediately accuse others of being insecure when they're constantly bringing up their ex for no reason like if we're at red lobster i don't need to know what your ex used to order i don't need to know their favorite movie or really anything about them that doesn't relate to you in some way it becomes really obvious when someone still has strong feelings for their ex and it's sad when they're the only person who can't seem to see it you know lie i am still getting over my ex and i constantly have to pump my mental brakes to not bring her up on dates and while just generally hanging out with some friends what makes it harder is that we share the same close friend group and she has clearly moved on much faster than me and is loving being single shit ducking hurts edit to clear things up my ex and i were friends for a little over 1.5 years before we started dating in that time we grew really close and then decided to give us a try after a few months we both realized it couldn't work and we broke up mutually. However she was able to process the reasons for the breakup better than me. I honestly want only the best for her and she is a good person. But that doesn't mean my emotional side is ready to just accept the rational fact of why we broke up. I know that our separation was the best decision for both of us. But I still miss the connection that we had and that is the part that weighs on me very hard. Talking at you. Not with you. It's amazing how common this is. Five-ish years ago after breaking up with my ex I spent three months on Occupid saying yes to every guy who asked me out unless he said something that made me think he was a creep or we had literally nothing in common. Anyways, ended up going out with probably 20-ish guys in the time period and every single one except my now fiancé went exactly like this. Me. Asks questions about their life likes interests. Them. Talks for 10 minutes and then stops. Me. Says something about what they said to try and connect us. I yo you just moved here. I remember when I just moved it was tough. What brought you here? Them. Ignoring the connection and talking more about themselves. Also them. Never ask me a single question. Like why go on a date if you are not interested in learning about the other person at all? Yes. To me a conversation is a back and forth activity. I just quit seeing a guy who never let me respond to anything when I did. He wouldn't even respond and kept blathering on. Those people who just keep talking about themselves get so tiring. I need somebody who also asks questions and listens to my responses to keep the conversation more balanced. When they don't know the difference between being funny and being obnoxious. Scanning this thread to find reasons why someone may have suddenly lost interest in me. We might have a winner here. Sai is this another one of your bits? You joke. Yet I heard this last night. They enjoy putting other people and their hobbies down. I recently went out with a girl who was going to a D&D game after our date. She spent a significant amount of time negging me for being into D&D. It was very confusing. Did you two play different editions or something? Maybe she was a second edition purist. I'm sure that's what it is. If they shit in the shower, you think it doesn't go on. I'm here to tell you it does. I mean I've heard of pissing in the shower but shitting? WTF. Don't know how to act in public are unaware of feelings other than their own. Lack of situational awareness. If they constantly make you feel bad for them. Felt so bad and was so worried about him for so long that the one time I needed the emotion I couldn't have it. Fishing for pity is not attractive. If someone is telling me something sad fine. If someone is telling sad things so I will feel bad for them i.e. manipulative sympathy. Then I cannot get out of there fast enough. I had a very straightforward conversation with a girl when I was young where she point blank told me I turned her off hardcore because I wasn't being confident and I was feeling sorry for myself. One of those sledgehammer moments where you cringe to think about how embarrassed you were then. But how grateful you are that someone told you like it was and you learned the lesson. If all of their exes were toxic or crazy, we all have one or two bad ones. But seriously it's not always that. If it smells like shit wherever you go, you should check the bottoms of your shoes. When they have seemingly no opinion, no voice, when every answer is I don't care or I don't know. Like Jesus Christ I'm trying to find out what you like so that we can talk. Gimme something. It is annoying. But I used to be like this. 
My stepmom always told me that my opinion didn't matter until I was 18 which meant that she never listened to what I wanted and I was never allowed to ask for what I actually felt like doing eating watching when she was around. Long enough with that and you just learn not to speak up. I did eventually learn that most people care what you think but it took some time and gentle nudging from the rest of my family. Emotional abuse from a parental figure is probably one of the best ways to turn someone into this sort of non-person. All the replies to this from people not recognizing this or calling people like this pathetic is just saddening. Doing dumb things and should know better. We had a new guy join our Friday social group. Very nice guy. Attractive. At the bar. He took his old gum out of his mouth and stuck it to the bottom of the table. Really? So trashy. Ro, didn't know that as existed outside of high school. I've worked in restaurants for a few years now and all of the tables have at least one piece of gum under them. All of them. If they say the words I know I'm an a-hole beach. Like okay I'll take your word for it. Also if it becomes apparent that they have no self-awareness. To everyone in line. Please ensure you have reached an acceptable medium between too self-aware and not self-aware enough. When I've heard that. They usually say it like it's a character virtue. When you come to them with a problem and they turn it into a conversation about them. I've shared this before. But one time I was out on a date with this girl I met online. I thought she was very attractive and we seemed to hit off well through texts. We're at this bar and she suggests we play a people watching game where we try to make up backstories for the other people there. I thought it sounded fun. Especially since I played a similar game with friends on the train sometimes. Plus it felt like a good icebreaker to get us talking. Well, she managed to take all the fun out the game by being ridiculously cruel in all her assumptions for no real reason at all. It felt like she was projecting issues she had onto these people. Like one guy was sitting at the bar alone. Could have been waiting for someone. You never know. But because he was alone he was a ducking loser with no friends that hates his life. Completely killed the mood and I lost interest in her after that. Couldn't see myself going on a second date with someone like that. That's what I call an efficient date. Right away you could identify she wasn't right for you. Anyone reading down this comment section looking to improve themselves? Yep. Watched her share a lollipop with her dog. Not she ate it and let the dog finish it. She had it in her mouth for a while then gave it to him for a minute. Back and forth like that until it was gone. Gross. Agreed. The hardcore dog lovers who treat their dogs like their boyfriends creep me out. I love animals. And I absolutely adore my own. But there's definitely a boundary that should never be crossed. When you realize they only listen to reply. Not to understand. Chewing tobacco. I'm also not a fan of smoking. But it's not necessarily an instant deal breaker like chewing tobacco is. The truth is. I have seen too many men who would sit there and chew tobacco and then spit it into an empty Dr. Pepper bottle. And it grosses me out more than I can express. When I find out they have a kid, I know it's shitty to say. But it's the truth. I'm nowhere ready to have a kid in my life. No matter how much I like the person, I wouldn't be able to commit. As a single dad, I also agree that it's not shitty. It's a pretty common deal breaker. Having a kid definitely limits the dating pool, but it is what is. Exactly, and I wouldn't want to date someone that wasn't ready for that anyway. Seeing as that's what my life is right now lol. Bad breath. Smelly in general too. You want them to smell good, or smell like nothing. Those are the only acceptable alternatives. Selfishness. I am very considerate of others and I am slowly learning that I think I need someone that is too. I keep trying to figure out where the line is for being a doormat, or not speaking my mind, not being authentic, any number of oversteps that being aware of others could take me to, but actually, there are a number of subtexts I've had people point out to me that I did not notice, so I'm not even sure if I can trust my own discretion about my awareness, it's a hell of an issue, thanks for listening ha. If they are rude to service workers, also if they don't like animals. I'll give a pass if they're allergic. The service workers is definitely one of the big ones for me too. It is easy to build a facade when you are first meeting somebody or starting to build romantic interest. If they treat people poorly though, this is an easy red flag to notice and definitely is a sign of how they will treat you slash people you know when they are more comfortable. 
if they are judgmental or tend to jump to conclusions before they know the whole story. Or, worse, if they combine these two. I guess because I've been burned by this in the past. It really makes me feel like the person isn't being fair. If they are biased to or believing bad things about people. I'm not going to fight to overcome that. Partly because I shouldn't have to, and partly because it won't really work. It's a relationship dynamic that I know I don't want. If they don't have a romantic interest in me. If they say I love you on the first date. Creepy f. Classic schmothby. When they have double standards. If I have double standards it's okay though. Biggest turn off for me is when they make fun of people with disabilities. I have a couple friends on the spectrum. With Parkinson's. With Huntington's disease. Down syndrome muscular dystrophy, and the like and when someone makes fun of them or tries to avoid them like the plague it is my biggest turn off. No one should ever treat another human being like they are beneath them because of how they are born. Same if they can't handle me standing up for people in those positions. I will get up and tell someone to apologize to my friends if they are being rude or making fun of them and if they can't handle that then I'm not with the right person. Not having any goals or aspirations. I was talking to this one girl, and we wound up cuddling a few times. But, she refused to get a job and lived off her parents. She could work, but chose not to and had no plans for later in life. Bye. Was with a girl and driving her home. She sparks up in my car. She just continued to smoke like it was just an okay thing to do. Then put her feet up on my dash. I'm a smoker and I mean duck. That is just massively rude. I don't smoke within like 5 meters of someone I don't know is actively okay with it. Let alone in the same car. Damn. When you discover that they're actually a potted plant. Hate it when that happens. Clinginess. Beach I need to breathe. This. I'm a very introverted woman and get energy when I'm alone. I need space. If they suggest poly. Swinging. Or cuckolding. I am strongly monogamous and have zero interest in that stuff and if you feel I am not adequate then I'll just cut ties and say adios. Play even if she says she wants another girl on our relationship I will still say no. Same time also people who tell you you can't have platonic friends. Nothing wrong with having platonic friends because friends are just friends. People who are infatuated and have no personality because they're focused on a singular thing. Such as politics and religion. Like I understand being in touch with your culture and religion but if you demand I change everything and become what you are then it's not going to be a healthy relationship. But if politically you are incredibly winged then I'm probably not going to be interested at all. Most recently had a guy joke about me being his sugar mama and cooking and cleaning for me if I let him crash on my couch for free. It dried me up real quick. Aggression. Abuse and unhealthy addictions self-deprecating constantly. I get the humor, but not on a serious level. Man shrugging. Was excited to take cute girl I met while bartending on a date. Picked her up at her place and before we got to restaurant she had somewhat bluntly informed me that she hated Willie Nelson and dogs. It was over before it started. Generally being unhinged. You can tell if tiny things upset someone to where it ruins their whole day they won't be able to handle the big things. Bad oral hygiene. Rudeness and chewing with their mouth open. I don't need to see your tonsils while I'm eating it's just rank. When they look at me with that heartbreaking expression that says, you're weird and I don't understand you. Disrespect. Rudeness. Too pushy. Signs of racism. Sexist. No signs of intelligent thought. Too basic boring. No interest at all in who I am. Just in how I look. Ghosting you then suddenly popping up out of the blue when they want attention. Yes Brittany I know what is happening when you call me. You're scraping the bottom of the barrel and I resent the duck out of being the bottom. Wait that could mean another thing but you know the thing I mean. When they repeatedly interrupt me with completely non-essential non sequiturs. When they cross the cringe line. It happens for me once when they insisted on giving me a break dance lesson in a pub. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.